setting up groups, adaptive release content, discussion board, and grade center within Blackboard. Okay, we're going to set up uh, groups in Blackboard, and then we're going to set up content areas, um, which are known as the folders, but they're in content areas, to only be available to those groups. Okay, so first, let's go down and create our groups. So to create a group, you're going to scroll down on the screen and look for where it says Users and Groups and select Groups. You can select, you can create all your groups in one shot by hovering above Create Group Set and then select the Manual Enroll. So I'm just going to call this Lab Groups. Okay, you can have a description about them right here. And as we go, I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger there. As we come down, you want us to make the group available. That's the default. Also, uncheck everything here. You might want to do group email. That's your um, prerogative. But the rest of it, uncheck all of that because you will not be using group-specific blogs, discussion boards, and so forth because they will only be open to the group. And you said that later on you wanted it open to the entire class. So um, I would also uncheck personalization. That way they just can't change the page of it. And you set up your group. I'm going to make five groups. Click Submit, and um, here we are, filtering members. Okay, now if, um, these two in particular, this was all show all roles, so if you're going to put teachers in the group or TAs, you'll want to check that. And then this one will remove these people from the active member list if they're already in a group. So you'll want to uncheck that if you're going to put them in two groups but um, if you don't want people in two groups leave that obviously check okay so as you come along down here you can select the people to throw in the group notice the instructors are in here now as well if you come up here you can shut that off and only students are now there so I'm gonna to toss that person in there I'm gonna toss this one in here and as you see there's no more people um, in the other ones but if I uncheck this, you'll see that the same two people are selectable. Okay? So, all right. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so you put your people in groups, and now you have several groups. Okay? If you ever need to go back to edit them, you just simply edit the group, come down here, and you can toss people into the group or out of. Okay. Also, if you want to email a group, you can come this way as well and email them. All right, so now we have created our groups. Cancel that. Okay, remember that was on users and groups and groups. Okay, now that we have our groups, we're going to go to our content area. So I'm just going to put it in content. Remember, you can create as many content areas as you need. Hover above the plus, select content area, name it anything you want, and then go into it. I just happen to have this content area here. So now I'm going to create those folders we discussed. So hover above build content. You could call it um, content folder, and I'm going to say uh, lab group one. And again, you can have any description you want there. Click submit, create another one. Lab group two, any description you want here. Click submit, and so forth. So I'm just going to do three of them for this example. And again, you can name it anything you want. Whatever keeps your head straight is A-OK -okay by me. OK, so now I'm just going to hide that menu there. OK, so now we have those three folders. All they are are basic folders underneath content. Right now, if a student were to come in, he or she will be able to see all of the groups. So now you want to specifically make them so that they are uh, only available to, to the specific group to do that click on the little drop down box to the right of group one select adaptive release come down on adaptive release to number two membership select group one toss them to the right here scroll down click submit done okay next one adaptive release come down select group two submit and continue on. So yes, this one the same thing. Adaptive release. Come down. Select group three. So 
what it means is you must be associated with the group, group 3, to be able to see this one. All right. So now anything, anything you put inside of here, so if I do an item here and, with, you know, some homework or whatever, only that specific group will see, not the rest of the crowd. Okay, so now um, we, uh, we talked about the discussion board. So let's look at that. If we go under course tools, we can go to discussion board. And there's the discussion board. So we're going to click on that and we're going to click on create forum. And I'm going to say open board for everyone. Okay. And I'm going to click on submit. Got that one in there. And then I'm going to have create forum group one. Group two. Group three. And these are just discussion board forums. If you see, if I scroll down here, you get all those options, which I don't really care about right now. Okay. So there they are um, in the regular discussion board area. You have the one for everybody of the groups there, uh, one for groups. Now it's really important that, see, I have tools here on the left that takes me to this tools area that has the discussion board um, in here. You just want to hide that access so students can't go to the general discussion board and see everything. So what you do here is you select hide link if that's still available in your class. If it's not, then you don't have to do this. Okay, so now we're in here. So we go to group one and we just want to give them the group one board. So we're going to hover above add interactive tool, select discussion board, select it to the forum, group one, next. You can type information here if you want. And it's going to link them now to the topic for group one. Okay, same thing. Let's go back here, group two. So the link to that area is going to go add interactive tool, discussion board, take it out here to group two. And again, you can type some information, click submit. Okay, you've got the link there. And let's go to the third one and do that one more time. Add interactive tool, discussion board. This time select the third one and click on next. Okay. So now the way we have it set up under content, if you're group one, you're only going to see the group one folder. And then from within there, you'll be able to get to the group one content. But group two or group three people won't be able to see that unless they're in those particular groups. Now, since we're using the general discussion board, you can hover above add interactive tool before you get into this group area or in another content area as well. Add interactive tool, discussion board, and go directly to the forum, open board to everyone. And in you go. Now that will be open to everybody. Like that. So when they come in, they'll see this and then they'll only see the group that they're in. Okay, let me show you what this looks like as a student. So we have this course here. We bring it over. I have another browser open here. Um, this one here is a student in this course. And um, in particular, uh, the student is enrolled in group two. So when when uh, the student here, he goes into the content area. Look at that. He gets the open board for everyone as well as lab group two. He doesn't see lab group one or lab group three because he's not in those groups. So he can go this one here. He can create his thread. You know, he can put something in here and right away and click submit. And then it goes right in here and he can participate in here. If he wants to battle back, he can go to there. And then he can go to lab group two and there he's going to get his link into here and he can create his thread in here and type and submit. Okay. So that'll keep it within those particular, like this is, he only sees this folder. And anything, like I said, in this folder is only going to be available to him and he can't see any of the other stuff that's in there. And um, that is how you... Uh, can do this on the left here you'll notice because I took away the tools they can't go to the open forum because if you did 
See, in this one here, this is the instructor one. I'm going to show the link. Now let me show you what happens here. Um, then we go here. There's tools. Then they can go to discussion board. And then they can see everything. They see group one, group two, group three, and participate in it. So that's not what you want. You just make sure that you get rid of that and don't link to the main discussion. So high link. Just have it this way where you're doing the direct links to the actual forums because they have to go into content. Then they can go straight into the forum this. And then what could happen later on, so you have it in there, but later on when you're all done and everybody's done discussing, you can put it at this higher level here. You do add interactive tool. And then you can do um, um, this here, group two, next, submit, okay. And I'm going to go here. See, there you go. It pops out here. So if it's in here, they can't get it. If it's here, they can. And then you could say, well, here's, you know, the groups. You can put these in folders and so forth as well. Um, these will just be the only ones with the adoptive release. Let me know if you have a question. This actually um, works really well, um, and also then you can tailor things to specific groups. Um, one more thing that I did to talk to you about today, when you have groups, what's cool, is uh, you can certainly email groups, which is pretty st straightforward, send email, and then um, to select groups, or you can do it the way I was showing you earlier under your um, groups, and they allowed you to send email that way. You can do in your uh, grade book, you can go to Grade Center, Full Grade Center, and you can go to Manage, Smart View, Create a Smart View, you call it Group 2 View. Okay, you can make it a favorite, you select the group, and I say Group 2, okay, Group 2, right here, you make it associate with a group and it becomes a favorite and you have it here on the left and you can hop right into the people that are in group two. So again, that's just manage, smart view, name the smart view. This one's gonna go group one view. Make it a favorite. That's The favoriting just puts it over here on the left. It's already defaulting to group. You go to, um, this is a group one. Click group one, click submit. It makes it pop up over here so you can hop in there and then you can just see everybody's grades for group one. This will help you with grading because you can actually sit, you know, and type it in and things like that. Um, from there, we're just quickly at a glance look at the grades. So if you have any questions, just let me know.